Welcome fellow movie buffs. I'm here to do a movie review for Charlie's Angels and I wanted to do it Thursday night so it would have been up yesterday but I'm sorry it didn't work out that way just because it wasn't playing in my hometown theater until the Friday which I'm angry about. So the next movie that I want to review is also not playing in my hometown on the Thursday night so again it'll have to be a late one posted on Saturday so hopefully that's okay with you now let's jump in to the movie review for Charlie's Angels so I went into this movie thinking it was going to be a reboot and just like a different take on things but it actually does turn out to be a sequel to the pa it's like it's a soft reboot but it's still a sequel in a way patrick stewart is in this elizabeth banks is in this kristen stewart's in this naomi scott is in this and if you don't know who she is she was the pink power ranger in the power rangers movie that they released a couple years ago as well as jasmine in the live action aladdin it also has ella balinska in this Jiman Hansu, uh, Sam Claflin, and Noah Centineo. Centineo? Noah. <laughs> They're all in this. So, like I said, I went in expecting it to be a complete and utter reboot. Like, every movie beforehand doesn't count. But that's not the case. They do make some small references to the past films, um, both original as well as the Cameron Diaz, Lucy Liu, and Drew Barrymore one. Uh, which I actually did thoroughly enjoy. Patrick Stewart is John Bosley. Now, in the 2000 version of Charlie's Angels, it was actually Bill Murray who was John Bosley, and then they changed him to be Bernie Mac, but it was like, they also changed his name to Jim Bosley. So it was just like, was that the first case of changing and making it seem like there's more than one Bosley? Definitely in this movie, there's like hundreds, thousands of... Bosleys, and it's because Patrick Stewart is a Bosley, Elizabeth Banks is a Bosley, Jiman Hansu is a Bosley, and they established that Bosley is like a rank, like a lieutenant or a sergeant, like stuff like that. So if your name is Bosley, that's because you're at like one of the highest rank. And they still have Charlie, which I believe is like the original voice, but yeah. So I won't get into that because that's a bit of spoiler territory. So I'm not going to do any spoilers in this, obviously, because I want you to go see it. Because this movie is actually really well done. I thoroughly enjoyed the complexity of um, Naomi Scott's character. The trying to figure out why she's kind of part of the angels. Because in the trailers, it makes it sh look like she's actually part of the angels the whole way. But that's not actually the case. She's a newbie. She has no idea what's going on. And she actually kind of gets recruited in a way somewhat by Elizabeth Banks and Kristen Stewart's character and Ella's character. They kind of recruit her to be in this little group that they have, but it also, they're trying to protect her at the same time because she's actually a target and people are trying to just get rid of her. <laughs> Kristen Stewart was honestly my favorite character in the entire movie. Elizabeth Banks coming in second because I love Elizabeth Banks and pretty much everything that she's ever in. But Kristen Stewart, to me, stole the show. I think her character was so fascinating to watch she was like she was definitely complex she had a lot of um background in her and while you didn't really learn a whole lot about her as a person you got little tidbits here and there to kind of piece together what kind of a person she is and how she's overcome mistakes in her past so her character's name is sabina she apparently is like an heiress or something but they don't really touch on that. It's very like, oh, I thought you were an heiress. And then pff, that's literally it. She I, And like anything in her past, she kind of just like briefly just mentioned. It's almost like, I like kittens. I like dogs. Well, I went to jail and then quickly move on. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> so there's that. All of the action scenes were phenomenally done. The explosions, the gunfights, the actual hand-to-hand -hand combat fights. They were all well executed. And while you know for a fact that most of them were done with stunt doubles and stunt performers and all of these like trained people to do things, you can actually see some of the actual actresses in this 
doing the their own stunts and actually taking part in the fight scenes, which I thoroughly enjoy because there's not a lot of films nowadays that actually allow their actors and actresses to actually take part in the action scenes. It's always like someone else that's been trained to do all this stuff to come in and do all this stuff for them. So I'm just like, eh, let your actors give it a try. If you need to give them training, then train them to do the things properly. Ella's character as Jane was all right. I didn't hate her. She wasn't the best, but I didn't hate her. I actually enjoyed Naomi's character of, I think her name was actually Ella in the movie, a lot more than Jane, just because she had more of a complex character than Jane. All we knew from Jane was that she was X MI6. That's it. That's all, that's all we really know about her. We don't really know anything else. And while that's a little bit more information that we get about Sabina, which is Kristen Stewart, I found still Kristen Stewart being a more complex character than her. And that's why I enjoyed her. Anytime Kristen Stewart was on screen, my attention was like fully, fully there. Not to say that my attention was away from the film at all, but it was just, I was just more into it every time Kristen Stewart was there just because I liked her character so much. She drew me into this film. So soundtracks in the movie were great. Effects, great. Costuming, great. Everything about this movie was honestly like A+. plus. So I don't really have much of a negative thing to say about this. When you find out who the bad guy is, again, you they give reasons behind it. So you're not just like, hmm, a little stretched out, but I kind of, I kind of get it. There were some funny moments in it, some unexpected funny moments where you didn't think it was going to be funny. And then you're just like, oh, okay, that's funny, which I do like. I like the element of surprise in some of these type of roles. Yeah, I guess my only critique would have been, I would have liked actual cameos from Cameron Diaz, Lucy Liu, Drew Barrymore. I would have loved to see one of them kind of just make like an appearance other than that. I think that might have been my only complaint about the film was that there was no true cameo. I mean, y you deal with it. Obviously, they probably approached them to be like, hey, do you want to make a cameo? Or they probably went with them the original time and be like, hey, we're going to do another Charlie's Angels. Do you want to be in it so we can make it a complete sequel? Or I don't know. I don't actually know the story behind creating this movie right now. But that being said, I'm just going to end this review now. <laughs> I'm not going to hold you here forever. I'm giving this movie a 9 out of 10. I think this movie was really, really well done. I don't think they could have done it any better any other way. I'm definitely getting it as soon as it comes out. I just loved it. And I really hope that they make a sequel to it because mid-credit, post-credit, during credit, I don't know scenes show like people being involved and like make it seem like it's going to have a continuation. So I do hope that's the case. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. It is going to be a fun, entertaining movie for sure. And yeah, so don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to comment down below letting me know if you saw it, if you're interested in seeing it, what movie I should review next. Don't forget to share the video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you haven't already because that notification bell lets you know when I post out a new video. And I will see you on Tuesday with another Trailer Tuesday and next week as well for another movie review. And until then, see ya. My life is a party.